A Memorial Village's man is accused of backing over his roommate and killing him before leading police on a high-speed chase that ended in a crash. So right now he is in custody. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry shows us how this all unfolded. The police department here has not investigated a homicide in decades, possibly since the late 1970s, the chief told me today. But tonight that suspect is facing three charges, including manslaughter and more may be coming. This home wrapped in police tape is in a neighborhood once ranked the safest in Texas. The villages has a, a, a murder or a case like this probably every 25 or 30 years. Memorial Village's police got a call to the home Thursday night for an argument with a report of the suspect being suicidal. As they pulled up, they saw the victim, a 76 year old homeowner, come out of the house before dash camera video captured 34 year old Mitchell Adair back his truck into the man at a fast speed. Court documents allege he then led police on a mile long chase through neighborhoods at 60 miles per hour. The senseless crime, it's chilling to see uh, the, the amount of force and the uh, the the death of the victim. The 76 year old man whose identity is pending notification of next of kin died at the hospital at Gessner and Broken Arrow. Adair T boned another car. The crash captured in this neighbor's cell phone video before police took him into custody. Adair, who police say could have been high on psychedelic mushrooms, is now charged with manslaughter, failure to stop and render aid and evading arrest. The neighbors described them as roommates. Uh, possibly a relationship between the two of them, but it looked like they did have separate living uh, arrangements inside of the house. Next door neighbor Richard Peterson says it all comes as a shock to the quiet community. The best person, friend, neighbor, anyone could ever ask for. We would never expect anything like this to happen. Jail records show Adair is being held on a $500,000 bond, but the chief says more charges are possible as this investigation continues. In Memorial Villages tonight, I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News.